Yo! Welcome to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we actually just shot all the way over to Fort Myers, and we're gonna go into the building department and see how it goes for proposing a big, like, 50-unit development for container homes over here in Fort Myers. Let's get started. Okay, so on this episode, we're actually, we don't know how it's gonna go, but we had a client contact us they want us to build a multi-unit commercial structure using shipping containers. So we've kind of started the preliminary and this is where we've discussed with you guys, the first thing you gotta do is go in, talk to your local building department, planning and zoning specifically, and find out if it's something, if we don't get hit by a car, find out if it's something you can even do. So right now we're doing just that. We're gonna go in, we probably can't film in there, so we're gonna cut to after when we come back out, but hopefully this is gonna go well. They're open-minded to it, and we're gonna find out. All right, so we left our meeting in uh, Fort Myers. And as you could tell, when we first were at the meeting, I was standing outside of a complete city building, and now I'm standing backed up to a river. So we actually didn't shoot the outro yesterday. It was a crazy meeting, so we're shooting it now. So first of all, we went in thinking it was just gonna be a meeting with a couple of the people from the city, ask a couple of questions pertaining to the acceptability of using a shipping container for a structure. It turned out that was not what we walked into at all. It was actually better, I guess, because we went into a city meeting in this conference room with 25 people in it with a satellite image of the piece of property that this proposed building was gonna be on. And the funny part it is, it was never brought up the fact that it was even a shipping container structure. That did not matter at all for the meeting. And I think this is really where a lot of people have all those questions about, can I use a shipping container here? Can I use a shipping container there? You gotta look past the fact that it's a shipping container because all it needs to do is to meet your local building code. They do not care what you build your house out of as long as it meets the building code. But that's gonna be pertaining to your local area. So the, the fact that we were using the shipping containers did not matter to them at all. It was gonna be, do you have this R value of insulation? Is your electrical system you know, meeting code and up to date? You know, all these factors are gonna come into play on whether or not it can be used or not used. They don't care what the structure is built out of. But that's also gonna be determined by how many square feet. So if you're trying to do one of these container homes, you gotta do your due diligence and that's by getting one of these meetings with your local building department because you may find out that this hurdle you thought was gonna be such an issue on whether or not you could use a shipping container isn't the issue at all. It could be that your plan does not meet the minimum square footage that they require for that piece of land. Or it could be that the house is no issue, that you have to do X and Y of landscaping to meet their, their code for uh, natural landscapes. You know, there were so many things that we learned in this meeting that, you know, because of where our building was, we ended up having to build a bus stop that's not even on the property. So there's so many things that go into your local building department are gonna answer that for you. So it turns out that, you know, the whole thought train of what we thought was gonna be a major hurdle on a much larger scale because we're building a 50 unit building, it turned out none of that even mattered that it was shipping containers, it was just, you're gonna to have to meet this code, you're gonna to have to meet this code, you're gonna to have to meet this code. So get past the fact that you're using shipping container, talk with your local city, and find out what they want you to do. And virtually, they can't say no to a shipping container. All it needs to do is meet the code. If it meets code, you can build your house out of toothpicks if you want. So we hope this video was useful to you guys. We gave you a much better backdrop instead of our building. And uh, if I sit on this fire ant tree stump, it might end up for a cool outro. Anyway, thanks guys. And uh, as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the comments, and we'll see you guys on the next one.